Hi everybody, it's Nikki again, and I'm here to do another video that's my personal experience, not to be used as medical advice. Um, taking kind of a little break from the 670G for a little bit, um, and currently back on MDI, um, waiting, using my Dexcom. I got a Dexcom a couple days ago, and then awaiting the T-Slim. Um, so moving throughout, you know, I was recently on the Omnipod, which I absolutely loved. Um, and I would have stayed with, except for I had an opportunity to try the T-Slim because of the end of the year pump upgrade program. Um, so I said, why not? Um, that's what I'm doing. Anyway, the, so I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about Dexcom, about what I've seen so far. I'm on my fourth day. Um, and the other day I did try to make a video kind of capturing the first, you know, the setup and the first insertion and everything else. Um, it was really easy. I mean, it came out charged. All I had to do basically was input date and stuff like that and go through some settings. Um, the video was absolutely terrible and I don't think I can post it, but um, it was less than four minutes to get the whole thing set up. Um, and very cle clear and organized and you know easy to follow kind of instructions and everything. Um, also an excellent video that they offer. <laughs> so you didn't really need my video. <laughs> um, anyway, but... So I wanted to show that and I didn't get a chance to show that. So I figured at least I'll go on and tell you guys a little bit about the accuracy because that's kind of what I do anyway. Um, so since yesterday morning, my guardian, I would like to note that my guardian, this sensor, which is also day four now, um, my guardian has been a great sensor. I don't know why I wish more. This was a lot. This was very much how they used to be. Um, with a lag because I do get that lag but they were always very accurate and and whatever um and they've really been struggling for a while now and this one is a great one so I think it's funny that since I've just put on the Dexcom now all of a sudden I've got this great performing guardian um but that's what it is and so I'll tell you that and the accuracy and the strength of my guardian has is not really representative of what it has been over the last couple of months probably um anyway so since yesterday um, I'll give you a couple of values to give you an idea what, you know, what I was looking at. Um, and then I'll tell you a few thoughts. Um, values. Okay. So a meter BG of a 69, my Dexcom was a 72, my Guardian was an 80. Um, at that point I calibrated with the Guardian because one was due. I have not done any calibrating for the Dexcom. And I do wonder whether or not every couple of days or even maybe once a day to calibrate it just to kind of anchor it might be a good thing. Or maybe there is absolutely no need. I, I don't know yet, um, but I'd love to hear people's thoughts on that. Um, okay, my meter BG 165, Dexcom 160, Guardian 122. That's that lag. Um, even with a strong Guardian, it was still showing me that lag. Um, meter BG 158, Dexcom 155, Guardian 145. Um, here's one BG 128, Guardian 131, Dexcom 136. So there's my Guardian actually coming, you know, coming in closer. Um, here's another lag right here with my meter BG of 73, my Dexcom of 71, and my Guardian at 55. Um, it's just interesting because even with a strong Guardian, I do still have that lag. That is my biggest problem with the Medtronic sensors is that it's a very slow lag. And this sensor is a great performing sensor and it's, and it's really kind of um, subdued, you know, the lag effect, but I can still see it. Um, so that is, those are some values. That's what it looked like most of yesterday. My Dexcom was stronger and faster to keep up with a fast, uh, you know, rapidly changing blood sugar. Um, and this was up against a good strong guardian who was also doing okay like my guardian was doing okay it was just um a little bit slower than the dexcom and that's not really the kind of guardians i've been having for a couple of months now if not longer um my libre i'm also testing my libre and it was very interesting because i had it out yesterday for a 12-hour warm-up so i was using my spike and mio mio um, so that I could still get a value and they were looking pretty good that, that was a surprise but they were looking pretty good um, regardless, the, um, I was going to say that. Okay, as far as lag, Dexcom is looking pretty solid. Today, it was a little bit slower on a turnaround. And it was interesting, even though it was a couple of, even though it was a couple of minutes behind. So the guard, so I, so I had crashed and I was rebounding. And let's say my blood sugar was actually an 85 at this point, whereas my guardian was reading, let's say a 70 
and my Libra, I mean, uh, my Dexcom was still reading about a 58 or something. So I was a little bit surprised because there is that lag again. And I was thinking, wow, that's really laggy compared to my Guardian. So that was kind of an interesting thing. But within two minutes, it jumped all the way up and caught up with my BG. And that was a surprise because the Guardian doesn't typically do that. It seems to make smaller jumps. Um, so I was surprised to see it be able to catch up in one, you know, in one change and one whatever it is, one new value, um, because my Guardian in general doesn't do that. It makes smaller jumps. Um, so, and that made me think today, had I calibrated, or if I, you know, will that change, you know, whether or not it lags? My guess is no. My guess is it's gonna lag because that's what they do. Um, all right, so that's basically the value so far. It has really been, it's really been very accurate, very good. I'm really pleased with it. Um, some thoughts are as of yesterday, so it was day three. Um, first thought is no calibrations. That's really that's really very nice um, for people who are using the Guardians right now and struggling with those calibrations. Um, and I've been using the Libre for a while, so I've gotten used to having something that you don't have to calibrate. Um, it's just it's just a pleasant thing to have this thing running and accurate and trustworthy and not have to be constantly, you know, calibrating and making up numbers if that's what you do. Um, accuracy, I think is accuracy is very good. Um, lag, of course there's a lag, or at least there is for me, but there's a quick recovery from the lag. Um, and the, a, for me, one negative thing is that my reader has to stay, I mean, everybody's reader has to stay close to you. And it seems to drop your signal pretty quickly if you get outside that range. Um, whereas like my guardian, you know, I also have to keep my pump near me, but it's not, it's, it doesn't seem to be quite as quick. Um, so this one drops the signal. You know, if I'm on the other side of the house, um, this one will drop my signal and it will give me the message when I come back that it can take up to 30 minutes to uh, retrieve the signal again. In reality, sometimes it's been 30 seconds, sometimes it's been a minute and a half, but it's never been anything longer than two minutes and that's okay. So even if I do go away, I know it's gonna be quick to pick it back up when I come back. Um, so I'm losing the signal about three or four times a day right now. Part of that's habit. I'm just gonna have to get used to carrying it with me. Um, and that's different from the Libre because the Libre never loses a signal. Um, so that's, so it's new habits. Okay, um, the, the setup was really easy. And when I added a follower, which was my mom, um, to my phone, I noticed that on my, on my Apple Watch, I already have the Dexcom, the, the Dexcom stuff up there. So I have no idea how that happened, but it's like magic because my mom has been working really hard at, you know, connecting all these things. And that one was just there. So that's been very nice. Um, it All in all, it seems like an, an easy, user-friendly thing to do to set up the followers and to set up the, you know, so that you can see it on your phone and everything else. Um, I love the volume of the tone and the alerts. Uh, I still haven't adjusted anything, so I might even be able to make it better. I don't, you know, I'm not sure yet what the adjustments are. I've been busy for the last couple of days. Um, but the tone is one solid tone and it's jolting and it, and it gets my attention and I really do have a problem with kind of, um, you know, be becoming desensitized to these, these tones. So I don't know how long this one will be attention grabbing, but for right now it is. And I really do like that. Um, and one other possible negative thing is the charging it's a slow charge. Um, it does. It does say. I think it. I think it said somewhere. And I have to go back and do the reading a little bit more thoroughly. But it did say somewhere. I believe that it takes up to three hours to charge. You know, with a with a uh, with a regular outlet. Um, that's pretty slow. And it really does. It moves across slowly. So it's kind of the slow thing. And considering you have to be within range, I mean, that's a little bit of a. Um, whatever. Um, so my plan is, you know, I, I charged it yesterday. It's looking like by tomorrow, I'm probably going to need another, need, need another charge. So my plan is to hook it up overnight next to me and let it charge overnight. And that seems reasonable enough. And assuming that works, then I don't think there is a problem. Um, so 10 minutes in, I figure we'll just try and see one little sample. This is kind of commonplace with my numbers. You'll see my Dexcom is 135, my Guardian's a 119, my Libre will probably be higher. 
Oh, low battery. Oh, 139. Oh, 139. Okay. And I'll do a quick finger stick. And I'm using one touch. I don't like my one touch at all. Um, at all. I like my Rely On Prime and I like my Contour Next One. And I'm out of test strips for both of those. So I figure I'll do one spot check and see, you know, with I think a pretty stable blood sugar right now. I think I'm pretty stable. 126. And there you have it. They both look good. Because my guardian is afraid. Because <laughs> it sees the Dexcom on my body and it's acting right. So there it is. I already told you, 119, 132, and 126, and that's all. Um, that's it. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.